So finally, I got the golden langur in Raimona National Park. It's that easy to cross an international border when you are in Raimona National Park. So, I am on my way from Baksa Tiger Reserve to Raimona National Park in Assam, which is uh, one of the newest national parks in India. Habitat of the park is actually very similar to Manas or Baksa because it is absolutely parallel to Baksa and Manas. It is actually sandwiched between Baksa Tiger Reserve and Manas Tiger Reserve. The speciality of the park is uh, there is a possibility of spotting the golden langurs in Raimona, which is primate and a very, very, very rare primate. So, unfortunately, I missed a very large herd of 35 elephants. Uh, yesterday in Baksa because I was scheduled to go with the range forest officer to the watchtower. Unfortunately, that didn't happen and I kind of could not do anything in the second half yesterday. So on my way to Raimona National Park, I am here uh, in a place called Sarai Bil, uh, which is a small village and uh, today is the weekly market of this particular village and I can see that the villagers have come with the bamboo produce. Assam is very well known for bamboo handicraft. They make utensils, they make their homes, they make flower vases, decoration items. So I have reached the forest office, the, the range office of Raimona National Park and the ranger was very kind enough to give me a patrolling guard of the park to come along with me in my own car to see the national park and with me is Mr. Janak over here. Namaste. Namaste sir. And uh, you can see he is completely equipped with the gun and uh, because there are there is presence of wild elephants because there is a small trek that is involved when we reach the Bhutan border so we need protection Based on my discussion with the range officer uh, over here, there is not a lot of wildlife in this park in terms of volume. So there is a very small herd of elephants. So finally, I got the golden langur in Raimona National Park. This is what the park is known for. But uh, the sighting was amazing. It was a large group of uh, langurs. Uh, they were very, very quick in hopping uh, branches and uh, getting into the dense forest if they sense any threat. So as soon as uh, I spotted, I tried to get down of the vehicle and that's when they all rushed into the bush. We are heading, the roads are very very bad, uh, you can see it's all full of mud. On this trail, on the Bhutan border, uh, I am actually kind of stuck. It was a big pit that uh, was not visible from the angle of driving and uh, my vehicle is completely in the pit right now. Wow, 
I am actually enjoying the off road in Raimura National Park. The mountains that you see behind over there is the Fipsu Wildlife Sanctuary in Bhutan. So we are absolutely on the international border right now, Bhutan border. We are on dried river bed and it is the Ronga Nadi. Basically, we will be now driving parallel to this river to check out if we can spot some elephants and the golden langoos again. Just over here, it was a family with a small baby. These were the villagers uh, who come deep inside the forest. They are actually not supposed to come that deep inside the forest to collect firewood. Uh, there are three main ranges in Raimora National Park, Western, Central and Eastern. I am in the Eastern Range with uh, my nature guide, Mr. Pankaj. Namaste. Namaste, sir. He has been in this park from the last uh, 20 odd years and knows the park inside out in terms of uh, the roads, wildlife, animal behavior and uh, he has had many case studies where he has caught people keeping uh, logs, wood and uh, many poaching cases as well. Eastern uh, range is on the extreme end of the western range from where I started uh, exploring Raimona National Park. Just uh, spotted the long-tailed broadbill which is my favorite bird of the eastern ranges, eastern Himalayas. It's a beautiful bird. Bhutan border right now trekking in Raimona National Park. So this is a small little trek which takes you to the pole which is basically the marker showing the international border of India and Bhutan. So this is the pole, a marker in a way uh, which represents a virtual boundary between two international countries India and Bhutan. So here you can see this is pole number 128 and where I am standing right now is India and 
where i am standing right now is bhutan here you are so is that easy to cross a international border when you are in raimona national park yet again we are in another uh, dried river bed and this is penkhua river that comes from bhutan another first for uh, a national park this is the highest i have ever driven in any national park on a river bed so and you can see this lovely lovely sunset over here and i am driving on this dried river bed of uh, the river that comes from bhutan to india via raimona national park it's a beautiful drive and throughout the drive there is this uh, trees of kanchan flower this is kanchan flower tree so many flowers there are these kanchan pla kanchan trees with kanchan flowers wow what a what a drive one of my best forest drive so far and uh, the best part is there is absolutely nobody else in the complete park we have exited the park so and uh, i can see a larger road a proper bitumen road now right in front of me but this is a lovely grassland he mentions that the forest vehicle has passed uh, this bridge before uh, i am not very sure how safe it is but we need to take a chance i have no other option for sure the cycle is uh, passing through but there is a huge difference between a cycle and a proper four wheel drive that i am driving so yes uh, we made it we made on the broken <laughs> wooden bridge we had no choice 